Vitamins. These substances are well named because they really are vital to life. They take part in a myriad of critical chemical reactions in our body. But the problem is that our body cannot make them. So we have to get vitamins from our food. The question is, does our diet provide enough vitamins or do we need supplements? That is the eternal question. Nutritional scientists maintain that if we have a proper balanced diet, we get all of the vitamins that we need. Alternative practitioners, uh, obviously backed by the $30 billion supplement industry, maintain that uh, no, we do not get enough in our uh, diet and we need to take supplements for uh, maximizing uh, benefits. Who is right? As is usually the case with science, the answer is, is nuanced. Now we have a major study by the U.S. Preventative uh, uh, Task Force, one of the best studies ever carried out. They looked at 87 randomized controlled trials of vitamins that looked at the relationship between uh, vitamin supplements and cancer and cardiovascular disease. And they came to the conclusion that there's insufficient evidence that taking vitamin supplements plays a role in preventing cancer or in preventing cardiovascular disease. Essentially, to put it into simple terms, vitamin supplements make for expensive pee and not much more than that. But, as you know, in science there is always on the other hand. And this time, that hand is being raised by Israeli researchers who looked at patients hospitalized with COVID-19. And uh, some of these patients had records of blood tests in which vitamin D levels had been determined. And it turns out quite conclusively that those patients who had low blood levels historically of vitamin D had much poorer outcomes in terms of COVID-19 than patients who had uh, uh, adequate amounts of uh, vitamin D in their blood. So what do we make of this? Certainly taking up to 2,000 international units of vitamin D a day is not harmful at all. You'd have to take huge doses of vitamin D to consider any kind of uh, toxicity. As far as um, overall supplements go, as sort of distinct from just taking vitamin D, I mean, there, of course, there are all kinds of uh, supplements. If you are going to take a, a multivitamin supplement uh, because you think that it will provide you with some comfort in terms of nutritional insurance, by all means, there's no harm in that, but at least choose one that has at least 800 IU of uh, vitamin D. Undoubtedly, the supplement industry is already hard at work trying to poke holes in the study that I mentioned, the U.S. Preventive Task Force study. Uh, but I think that that study is made of some pretty sturdy material. And that for today is our cup of joe.